In this video, we're going to add a new method to our user controller. And this method will be to handle the HTTP POST request, which contains the initial request for password reset. I have added a little code snippet, which I have commented out, and I'm going to remove the comments block. And I will comment out a few things first. With most of the things here in this method, you're already familiar how to do. This is going to be a method that handles HTTP POST request, and this is why I annotate this method with POST mapping. The path to this method is going to be password-reset-request, and the HTTP request to this method is going to be sent to the following URL. It will start with HTTP or HTTPS, and then you'll have the main name, port number, the application context path, and then forward slash users, because our root resource class or our REST controller is annotated with the forward slash users. And if we go back, then we have the password reset request, which is the path to this method binding. And then this method can produce both application JSON value and application uh, XML and it can consume information either in JSON format or XML format. Because this is HTTP POST method, it will accept a request body in the form of JSON or XML, and the request body will be converted from JSON or XML into password request reset model. We do not have this class, and this is why it is underlined. So I'm going to create this class first. And because this is a request, I will go into my request package, and here I'll create a new class. Let's create new Java class, paste its name, password reset request model, and click on finish. And this class will contain a single field, which is going to be an email address. And this email address will be used to send user an email message with a link, which they need to click to open that HTML form with two fields, one field for a new password. And the second field is to retype their password just to make sure there is no typo. Okay, so this class will contain a single field, which is going to be a private string email. And I'm going to encapsulate this field, source, generate getters and setters, select this field, and I'm going to format this code. Okay, this class is ready. Let's go back to user controller and import this class. In the next line of code, we use a request password reset function, which we're still going to create, and we will put it in the user service. This function will take the email address from the password request model and will contain a business logic to generate a unique uh, password reset token and to send email message to our users. And if email message was successfully sent, a Boolean value will be returned back and stored as operation result, either true or false. Let me uncomment next few lines. Now, the return data type of this method is operation status model. And we have created this class earlier to be used as a return data type for a more general purpose operations like this one, for example, password reset. So the operation name for this particular operation will be password reset request, and then operation result will be success or error. And when we're going to actually reset the password, the operation name will be password reset, and operation result will be error or success. So let's reuse this one. I'll go back to user controller. And initially, I set the operation name to request password reset. And we don't have this enum yet, so I'll go to my request operation name and I'll add one. We have delete, verify email, and I will add request password reset. So now it's not underlined anymore. And the result, I think I have made a typo, so let's look up what we have there. Set operation result like this and delete this. Okay, so operation name is password reset and operation result is error initially. And then we will check if operation result is true. We will set the operation result to success and then return this return value. Okay, so this method is almost ready. We just need to go to a service layer 
and implement the request password reset function. Okay, so let's do that. 